Oh my god, that is the ugliest leg I have ever seen. Mine. I bought some Asper cream. Woohoo! That's nice and cold liquid. Woo! It's very, very painful leg. Very painful. So you don't have to get it, it doesn't smell either, but you don't have to get it on your hands when you have this little roller applicator thingy. I love this. I'm starting on a a small painting. It's going to be for the shrink because when I move, I won't see him anymore in a few months. It'll take me a little while to do it. But it's a real pretty picture. I've done one from for Scott and Marley. Turns out really well. It's hydrangeas. So we'll see. Hi. Thrall has not been feeling very well either. His nose is dry. And he sits and looks off in another direction somewhere. Mm, poor baby. Oh, we're gonna go night night with mama tonight. Huh? You strange guy. Oh, been a good boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Get your toenail out of my shirt. Thank you. Whew. Wearing my San Diego shirt that I got in Seaport Village. Nifty place. It's all expensive there, but San Diego is a really nifty place. I must say. I didn't get a whole lot accomplished. I had chicken soup for dinner and was watching the Democratic re debate thing while I was sketching the flowers. And all of the candidates say pretty much the same thing. They all say the same thing. I guess basically you have to decide which one that you would choose that would actually do the job. That's what you got to figure out. Will they work? Will they do the job? Do they have what it takes? Ooh, gadzooks. Then uh, after that, they're chosen, it'll be nothing but nonstop political commercials from now until November when we vote for president. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I have just been in pain all day. All my joints. It, it's almost like some kind of weather front's coming in, like I'm a human barometer. I sat in the recliner with electric blanket on while I watched Jeopardy, and the warmth warming up my lap like that really felt better but yeah, you don't get anything done I'm trying to do stuff around here I had to go to Walmart and get some uh, test strips for the glucometer the blood test thing machine because that's where I bought the machine and you have to have the little uh, test strips that match the machine they have to coincide so, I did that, and I stopped by the grocery store because they had bacon on sale for $3.68, $3.68, and they're normally like $6, and it's like, are pigs scarce? But uh, anyway, um, <laughs> the bacon that was low sodium, there were plenty of those, like nobody wants that, they want they want as salty as you can get it. And I'm watching my salt intake, etc., etc. And, and I still do eat meat, but I've cut way, way back. Way back. So I got some bacon, the low sodium bacon. There was a lot to choose from and a lot of good looking bacon to choose from. So I bought a couple of those. I cut them up in little pieces anyway. I have two or three little pieces like this, which is basically one piece of bacon. But when you cut up into smaller pieces, it looks in your mind you think you have more. Just like eating on a smaller plate. It looks like you have more food, but it's the same amount of food, but it's a smaller plate. Those are like mind tricks that you can do to help yourself lose weight. So the, the pantry's pretty much fine, and the refrigerator's fine. I bought some day-old bread, which is okay with me, as long as it's good. 
had chicken soup for supper. Going to a birthday party tomorrow. Have to get gas for the car, and it's cheaper somewhere between here and there, so I'll get it tomorrow. I've been in a lot of pain today. <sighs> this is not good. I need to be further along than this. Yep, the days are moving along. Mm. Upward and onward.